Grace, 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 what are you doing? Oh, hey Shares, what's going on? Welcome back to the vlog. I am looking at everything that I found in the pond. This iPhone stuck at the bottom of the pond. So today I brought everything over here to kind of lay it out in the sun to see what we have. And for the shares who haven't been keeping up to date, well, it's been a crazy story with the pond out front. Supposedly this undercover animal control person has been trying to dig up the pond because there's a safe in the pond and clearly a lot more. That vlog was so crazy. I took the lie detector test out there and my life flashed in front of me because I got stuck. What's wrong? I'm completely stuck. What? in the quicksand, but we found so much stuff. For some reason, the metal detector went off this pile of rock. I didn't think it looked anything special. It might be stuff inside. Oh! No way! Oh my goodness! This is definitely a geode. No way! I, or whatever those things are called when the rocks have cool crystals in the inside. Look how pretty that is. It's like a purple crystal. Carefully put those in. We did find this stuff. Like an old ancient family photo. We need to see who these people are in this weird map. Let's put that in there. And then definitely need to lean off this iPhone and see what's inside. Maybe I should just get like a wet paper towel and gently wipe it off. I don't want to get the phone more damaged. Oh, so much mud on it. Oh my goodness. Look at all that mud that was on the iPhone. It's not turning on. Okay, maybe we'll plug it in to see if it can charge. Plug it in. Ah, see if it works. It might be really dead. We have no idea how long it's been in that pond for. Put it right there, and then we'll go get some rice. Okay, sure, don't laugh, but the only rice I had is like the super healthy quinoa and rice and garlic stuff, but I think this should still work. It's not cooked yet, so it should help dry any water that's on the phone. Oh, yeah. Phone in the rice. Supposedly that helps. Like, I've seen a lot of people revive their wet phones with rice. Okay, a lot of time has passed, and this iPhone has been sitting in this rice. It's right here. It's all sticky now. One, two, three. <gasps> it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. Oh my goodness. Can I let go? Huh. As soon as I let go of the power button, the phone turns off. You know what? Maybe I should plug it into my computer. That way we can see what's on this phone. Let me get a charger and plug it in. Put this back in here. Okay, and then if we plug this into my computer, hopefully this phone isn't gonna mess up my computer. But if we can get iCloud off of this phone, we can get a lot of information. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's working. It's totally working. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I can see everything here that's on the phone. Maybe the screen is just broken. I have a missed call and a voicemail. Should we listen to it? <gasps> I feel so weird snooping through someone's phone. Yeah, I'm just gonna listen to it. We are three weeks behind schedule. We are supposed to have that safe way sooner. You play with my time. I'll start playing with your money. Get it done now. Oh my goodness. Did you hear that? They definitely said safe in that. Okay, that was really weird. I wonder who was calling this phone. They were talking about the safe, which means this phone probably belongs to someone dealing with that safe and digging up the pond. Oh my goodness. I wonder if this phone really is the animal control person or one of those mystery people outside. I need to play that again. I need to listen to that very carefully. We are three weeks behind schedule. We are supposed to have that safe way sooner. You play with my time. Pausing that. Did you hear that? They were talking about the safe. So this really is someone calling this phone talking about the safe and they're like teaming up. So there's more than one person behind all this. Let's hear the rest. Play with your money. Get it done now. Okay. This person is really angry. Oh my goodness. This makes me more scared because clearly someone's angry at this person and I have their phone? Wait, you can see their text messages. Oh my goodness. Wait, this is so crazy. I have a lot of unread messages, which means this phone was probably in there for a while. Their ex texted them. Oh my goodness. This is so juicy. When are you coming home? I'm not sure. Project is taking a while. Boss is getting really upset. That was probably the boss leaving that voice message because that person was very upset. Tell him to kick rocks and come home now. This could change everything for us. 
us. I can't risk it. What? Why would this change everything for them? Is it really just the safe that they're working for? You are so selfish. Talk to you later, period. Okay, this person is mad at his ex. I'm like starting to get red. I don't like tension. I don't like drama. This is a lot for me. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, we can see when this was sent. Details? March 25th. So this phone really hasn't been in the pond for that long. Just a few weeks. Here's more unread messages. I think this person blocked his girlfriend. I hate you. You're crazy. Where are you? Call me, please. Oh my goodness. The person just said, I hate you, and now wants him to call you? These people are so crazy. Oh my goodness. Let me check their photos. Oh, here's a video. It's like green grass. I'm not getting away with this. I know it's at the bottom of the pond. Oh my goodness. I think this video was taken at our house. What is this? It's literally someone running. Wait, who? Right there. You can see their legs and their feet. And they literally just run and then they fall. Wait, right at the end? I zoom back. Right there. You can see them walking over the phone and they're wearing a black sweatshirt, but you can't see their head. Their head is completely covered. Who does this phone belong to? They're like teasing us, but can you tell by this little photo who this is? Okay, let's see if there's more videos. Oh, I found the photo app. This is perfect. Okay, let's see what's on this. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah, now that is creepy. It's like a stalker photo of the truck. Wait, is Steven in that truck? I'm zooming in to see. Yeah, I don't think anyone's in that truck, which makes it a little less creepy. Yeah, there's so many photos of the truck. Okay, we need to keep an eye on the truck and make sure they don't steal it. And there's a lot of the pond, more of the house. Oh my goodness. Wait, they came that close to the house? That's literally by that front door over there. Oh, that's so creepy. Creepy. I, normally they stay way back in the pond, which is still our property and still not great. I've never noticed them coming this close to the house, but clearly we have evidence. Oh my goodness. Oh, a drain. Oh, interesting. I wonder if there's like tunnels or something. In the tiny house. Oh my goodness, this has to be the animal control's phone because we found him sleeping in the tiny house and he has photos of the tiny house. This must be his phone. It's like that black tarp and all those flags leading down. Oh, uh, okay. Hopefully they're they're not building tunnels. You know what? I'm gonna screenshot this. I can show Steven this because I think this might be leading to something that we want to try and stop before they can complete this. Oh no, 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 no. Sharers, look at this. Wait, please don't tell me this is our house. Yeah, because it has the pool house, pool, the barn, the solar panels, and the pond is over there. Yeah, this is our house. And there's little ghost symbols all over. No, wait, please tell me this is a prank. All signs point to here. And there's a red X right in front of the pond. What is this? I need to screenshot this. See what this is all about. Is our house haunted or something? Ghosts and X? This is really, really creepy. I have no idea what this is all about. And who is it from? If we can read all this information right, we have a chance of stopping those crazy people out there before they do more to this house. Is our property haunted? That would be a plot twist. So stay tuned for next vlog to see what we find out and I'll see you then. Share the love, peace, woo. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Someone, someone's calling this phone. Someone's calling the phone. Should I answer, should I answer?